there friends before the video starts i just wanted to take a sec to say thank you so 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 much for 1k subs what the heck how did we get there already uh, how did we get there at all i do not know i never expected to reach 1k subs let alone as fast as it happened so just really wanted to say thank you so much. You guys are so sweet and so awesome. I absolutely adore reading your comments and getting into little chats with you guys. And I just can't express how grateful and how happy I am that you guys enjoy the videos that I put out. I got a lot planned for 2023. We got definitely some more haul videos as well as some more cosplay stuff and some new things that I'm thinking. Definitely stay tuned and I just really wanted to say thank you so 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 much from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much. Now let's get to the haul. Today we have a good old-fashioned unboxing to get to. I have about seven boxes that have just been piling and piling up throughout the months so it has just been a test of my strength to not just open these already but I really wanted to open them with you guys so without any more hesitation let's get cracking. So first up I have this little box here I believe this is from yes this is from Good Smile so this should be an android. <gasps> Guys, this was a good one to start with. This I actually was not expecting to arrive for another few months, but here she is. So this is the 15th anniversary Hatsune Miku Nendoroid. This design is just so, so beautiful. Also just this box, what the heck? This is so deluxe. Oh my god. I'm so excited. This is just so, so fancy and beautiful. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> so this is the original artwork. I'll put the name of the artist on screen, but it is just absolutely stunning. This is what the full scale figure looks like, um, but I'm so happy they also did an Android because Miku is just so cute as an Android. Here she is. She is absolutely stunning. The hair sculpt incredible there are so many details in this outfit the layered skirts all the gold detailing and the ribbons and it's just so cute the little flowers in her eyes go perfectly because it's strawberries and flowers and cute gingham everywhere it's just adorable i love the alternate expressions that you can give her especially the little yummy food face i think that one is just so so cute this android also comes with a few extra hand pieces that you can display as well as an extra foot piece and of course she also comes with the extra base part that is exclusive to this nendoroid and it's a really cute little dessert plate but she also comes with a regular nendoroid base if you prefer to display her with that one also awesome little bonus about this nendoroid is she also comes with the original artwork for this figure as a little mini acrylic stand all in all, I love this Nendoroid. I think she is absolutely stunning and beautiful, and I cannot wait to see what they do with the full scale figure of this. I think they're gonna hit it out of the park, and I can't wait to see it. Oh my goodness, this might be the cutest Nendoroid ever made. She just looks so like perfect on this tiny little plate with her tiny little fork and her tiny little cream puff. All right, let's set her down right on to the next box. Oh, this is upside down. Ah, eh, whatever. I hope opening it from the bottom does not cause any catastrophic failures. So first up, we have some cinnamon roll and milk plushies. These are so cute. Ah, look at the little baby in his winter gear. My son, my son. And here's milk. Oh my god! I love the pink scarf with his little blue, like, binky. What do you call those? You call them binkies, nunus, pacifier, I don't know. Oh, he's so cute! Look at them together! Wait, wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> They're so adorable! Oh my goodness. Those plushies come in different sizes. Mama got the mascots as well. I just, I love a good mascot. I like, I have so many bags and I just hang a bunch of things off them. So of course, when I saw that these came in mascot versions, I was like, 
how could you say no? These are just, these are just so cute. I also got the cinema roll mascot. And I think it's such a cute detail. The little chain, ball chain that they come with is the same color as like their scarf. So cinema rolls is a nice blue and then milk is a pink one. If this isn't the cutest thing you've seen, I don't know what is. Next thing in this box. Oh yeah, some of the stuff I ordered so long ago that I kind of like forgot about it. But these are some Kurila Kuma hair ties. It's like little Kurila Kuma hair ties and it has this plushie of Kurila Kuma's face with a little star. And then these like glittery heart things. So you put a poncho, oh, I could even put them in my hair right now. Can I just go over the ponytail I already have? Ow, 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 ow. Here we go. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I got two so I could do twin tails. Oh, these are so cute, yay. And then the last little goodie in that little pouch is a Cospa pinch strap of Megamine. All right there, friends. I think it's time to open up a scale figure. So here is the next box. So truth be told, I did have to open this one up when it first arrived because I bought my friend a birthday gift and it was in this box, so I had to get that out. But I haven't opened this up since, so I don't remember what figure's in here, but there is definitely a figure in here. Let's open her up. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. We have here the beautiful Lena Inverse from Slayers in her fancy, I think these are called Hiragi kimonos. I was just so excited to get this and she's just so cute and I really think it captures her character so well even though she's not in her whole like battle armor outfit sort of thing. This is just so cute. Her expression. Let's get her out. Let's get her out. Oh, this figure was for the 30th anniversary of the light novel, I believe. She's huge too. This is, this seems way bigger than a one seven. Oh, I almost dropped her. I almost dropped her. Red alert, red alert. So here's the base. It is this beautiful, it kind of looks like, um, like a fancy kind of lacquer, like, bento box cover. I don't know. Uh, that's a bad example, but um, it looks really nice and it's really shiny and has this beautiful gradients going on. Some flowers, little sakura flowers. And this is another thing that I love is when bases have metal pegs in the feet. I just think that makes the figure feel so much more high quality and secure on the base. So that is just awesome. Now for the figure herself, let's get her out. Oh, oh my God. So this figure goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. She, she slays. Boom. I'm sorry. Boom. The detail in this figure is just absolutely beautiful. The flower print and the gold detailing throughout the kimono is just absolutely stunning. I think the expression is spot on. It captures Lena perfectly. The detailing in her hair and all the accessories just looks so good. This figure is spot on. This might be the best figure of this video. I think this is just such a, a great figure to commemorate the 30th anniversary. I think putting her in a fancy kimono for such a milestone is such a good idea. So I'd love to know what you guys think. What's your thoughts on this? Do you think she's as beautiful as I think she is? I'd love your thoughts. I think this is a perfect figure. She's also really big. This is a 1 7th and she is huge. Oh! There's still merch in that box. Guys, I did it again. I bought another plushie. <laughs> but this one is the Kurila Kuma Halloween 2022 plushie. This is, this is so cute. No regrets. I'm never gonna stop buying plushies. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding, really? I'm just lying to myself. All right, so next up are just some little extra merch pieces. I got another Cospa pinstrap, and this is of Rika from Chinibio. And then the last little pinstrap is this Hatsune Miku one. I just thought this art style was really, really cute. All right, guys. So next up, we have what I believe is some more Nendoroids. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> okay, so here we have the 
Kurone Inugami Nendoroid, as well as the Nekomata Okayu Android. Originally, I was just going to get the Krone one because she's my favorite VTuber and I just recently got her spirit tail scale figure so I was like this is gonna look really cute with that and it's really cute but then I watched the video of Krone and Okayu doing karaoke and it just it was the funniest thing and they are so cute together so I got them both some of the promotional photos for these nendoroids were them together so good smile company you know what you're doing you know what you're doing you know your way to a girl's wallet so let's take a look at the Krone nendoroid first so she comes with three face plates total she comes with her kind of standard smiling expression that she arrives with already on she also comes with an alternative smiling happy expression as well as a yandere kind of looking expression i think that is so cute and so funny she also comes with two alternative arm pieces as well as a leg piece she also comes with two different hand pieces that you can swap out she also comes with a finger which is so freaking hysterical i love that so much and a huge piece of bread so perfect accessories and the great part about the hollow live androids is all of them come with an exclusive base to that character so it looks really nice put together it's not the kind of standard in my opinion ugly nendoroid base as you can see it's a very cute on theme base for the nendoroid all in all this is a great nendoroid i could not be more happy i'd love to know what you guys think guys she's so cute oh my goodness what a little cutie so let's get out okayu to display them together. So just like Corona, she comes with three face plates total. She comes with a crying laughing face, a little sneer kind of expression, and then her standard smiling expression. She also comes with an alternative leg piece as well as two separate hand pieces. And one of the hand pieces she comes with are two hands together. So you can display her and Corona holding hands, which I am most certainly going to be doing because that is freaking adorable, oh my goodness. She also comes with two alternative arm pieces, which come with finger gun hand pieces attached, which is just so cute and awesome. She also has an onigiri accessory that you can have her holding, as well as some cool glasses that you can put on her, as well as her little kitty mascot so cute and of course she also comes with a base with her kind of logo on it as well as her name just like the Corona Nendoroid. So here is the beautiful Nekomata Okayu featuring Corona's arm. She is adorable. I'm so happy I ended up getting both. I think they just look so cute next to each other. Guys this has been a great haul so far and it's not over yet. Let's get to the next Package. Here it is guys, the next box. First I picked up these two Kero-chan um, mascots. Super cute. I don't have any card capture mascots yet, so I think these are gonna be really cute. I got this Rilakkuma and Kyotori rice paddle. I'm always trying to collect kind of cutesy home goods stuff, um, as well as obviously like collectibles. So my kitchen is gonna be looking so cute. And then I also picked up this Rilakkuma and Friends ramen bowl set. So this comes with a ramen bowl as well as a ramen spoon. Always trying to enjoy foods and things in a cute way whatever that means. Uh, so here is the ramen bowl. On the side, we have this kind of nice little motif going on, and this is like Rilakkuma and all that. And then on the very bottom, I just noticed we have a little Kyotori eating a dumpling. How cute is that? And on the spoon, it is a similar thing. Got little Rilakkuma in the middle and some Japanese text down the handle and a little Rilakkuma up top. This is so cute. I'm so excited to enjoy some ramen in this bowl. So first up out of the box, we have doo -doo -doo -doo, Mei from Pokemon, or as I know her in English as Rosa, and she has a little Snivy with her. And this is actually a re-release. This figure has been out before um, a few years ago now. 
and this is one that I was missing in my Pokemon figure collection. So I'm so happy that they re-released her. They kept her price pretty much the same, I believe. I think this was $80, um, which is really not bad for the quality that you get with these figures. They're nothing too crazy, you know, they're not huge and they're not like super detailed, but I think they look really, really good. If you love Pokemon and you love the character design, these are a great figure line to collect. I have some back here and I made a little spot for her already, so I can't wait to get her in the case. But let's get her out of the box and take a look. So just getting a look at her, I think she looks really good. No paint defects, nothing like that. I think it's a very clean figure. Paint job looks great. Shading is pretty good. I love the pose that they chose for this figure as well. And even though Snivy was not my starter from that gen, I think it's a good fit for her. I think it complements the color palette really well. And overall, I'm really happy with this figure. I'm going to open up the last two Nendoroids that I have here, and then we'll do the last scale figure to end the video off. Hope that's okay. So without further ado, here we have Kazuma and Yun from Konosuba. I was so happy that they re-released these. For some reason, the Kazuma Nendoroid was reselling for like $200, which is just crazy. Oh my God, they look so cute. So before we open them up and check out the different things they come with, let's check out the little bonuses they arrived with. So for Kazuma, you get his little track suit as well as an extra arm piece that will allow him to hold the tracksuit. So that is such a cute bonus to get for him. So Miss Yunyun comes with a very cute set of pink bunny ears that you can attach to her. How you attach them is you stick this kind of, can't really see it, but it's like a plasticky piece and you stick it between the seam where the front bangs connect to the back of the head. Uh, and then the ears will kind of attach to the little nubs on top and you have these really cute bunny ears. I'm definitely going to be displaying Yun Yun with the bunny ears, of course. I couldn't do it any other way. But let's get these out and take a little look at them. So Yun Yun comes with three face plates total. She comes with an alternate crying face as well as a nervous expression. She comes with two different sets of arms that you can try out, a flailing pair of arms that I think pair very well with the crying distraught expression, as well as a more nervous pair of arms that I think pair well with the nervous expression. She also comes with two alternative hand gestures and two alternative leg poses as well. She also comes with the little gift basket, which I think is such a cute touch. So taking a look at the Cosmo Nendoroid, he comes with three face plates total, his standard expression. He also comes with a screaming kind of sh shocked looking expression as well as a devious laughing expression. He also comes with three alternative arm pieces, as well as two different hand pieces and a extra leg piece. For accessories, he comes with his sword, Chun Chun Maru, as well as a little water spurt, which is pretty cool. And of course, it wouldn't be our little rat, Kazuma, if he didn't come with a pair of panties. So here they are all set up. I think they look so cute. I'm so excited to put these next to my other Konosuba Nendoroids. I think they are just gonna fit right in really, really perfectly. I think my favorite of the two would definitely be the Yunyun. I just love that she came with pink bunny ears. That is a way to my heart, absolutely. So yay, I'm so excited to have these and complete my Konosuba Nendoroid collection. All right, guys, so we got one more figure to unbox in this video. This has been a huge haul. Thank you if you've made it to the end. I super appreciate you sticking around. Without further ado, here is our last figure. Ba -da 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 -da. Kitty Kana from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I saw this and I was like, it's a cat version of Kana. Are you kidding me? That's, that's super cute. Uh, there is also a Toru that pairs with this and she's in like a gray cat outfit. That one is really cute too. So this is a one six scale. So that's pretty big. She's gonna be pretty big. Wait a sec. So 
on the box this figure says she is a one sixth and the lena from earlier is a one seventh but to me this seems more one seventh size maybe we were just spoiled with the lena figure but i don't know this doesn't seem like massive like a one sixth figure seems but either way she's really cute so this figure is done by soul international overall the quality seems really good it seems well made don't really have anything to say there i just think that there could be maybe a little more pizzazz i really think this is a, an adorable pose and i really love that she's on a little cat bed i think that is very very cute now, another thing I'm not a huge fan of about this is this huge plastic base. The one thing that I really don't like is you can see the kind of manufacturer notice through the shiny plastic. I guess it kind of gets hidden underneath the cat bed when you put her on the base, but I don't think this base needs to be as big as it is. And I am just not a fan of plastic bases that have like text on the bottom. I just think it takes you out of the glory of the figure. What I would have done to make this a better figure, make the base a teensy bit smaller and make it like a pink base with maybe some like fish or yarn ball motif. So it's a little bit more themed to the cat look. I do think she is really cute. That pose is just adorable. Overall, it looks like Kana and I'm still very happy that I picked her up. Yeah, I would love to know what you guys think was she worth it is she a pass for you i just i would love to know well guys that brings it to the end of this massive haul i would love to know what you guys think what was your favorite figure of today's video what was your favorite nendoroid of today's video and what was your favorite merchandise item of today's video thank you guys so much for the warm welcome back if you didn't check out my last video um i took a little break off of youtube for a few months um, for a couple different reasons, but I recently posted my 2022 room tour video. The love and support that I've got from you guys has just been so amazing and so sweet and just really drives me to want to make more videos. So thank you guys so much for all the love. And yeah, I think that about does it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye!